Next is a morning walk conversation with His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on June 8, 1976, in Los Angeles. We have got experience that a child is coming from the womb of the mother. So, why we should suggest a nonsense creation that uh, there was a chunk and there was creation? What is this? Talk on this point. Where is your experience? Uh, all of a sudden, a chunk dropped and there was creation. We have got experience that creation is there, mother is there, and a child is coming. This is the creation. So, where from this idea comes? That without father and mother, creation is possible. What is this? He is a great scientist. Let me <laughs> Chief Rascal. <laughs> say that nature takes care of it all. <laughs> but why nature did not take care of you? <laughs> Therefore you are arrested. <laughs> See the problem? Huh? The trees, huh. they produce seeds. And the seed drops on the ground and then another tree comes. That's all right. There's no father. Huh? Simply... The, the, oh, there is, that I understand. But the tree is coming from the earth. So that is the... And, and, and anyway, just like the father gives the seed to the womb of the mother and she produces the body and it comes up. The seed is coming from the father. And that is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Bija Hang Sarva Kama. The seed comes from the father. That you cannot be like. Mother without seed cannot be pregnant and cannot give child. That is our experience. Nature is mother. And the seed is given by the father. In science, the biologists teach that there are small animals, very small, called amoebas. And when they reproduce, they simply divide themselves into two. There is no sex. There is no father. Mm. <laughs> well, that's how life so, Two or three or four or five coming from the light. The amoeba is the light. Not that it's from any stone it is coming. The light is coming from light. That is a different way. Previously the scientists used to say that uh, they would they would put dirty laundry and rotten garbage in a box. Then a few weeks later, later they would find rats. So they said that rats are made from garbage. So then everyone, this this was presented as a very laughable theory. And then the next theory that was presented as the actual one was that life came from chemicals. How do I tell life from rats? <laughs> Every year they're changing their theories. Actually, their philosophy came from rats. <laughs> What is that? That's pleasant. This is called Vishtik Tannulanda in Sanskrit. A scorpion is coming from the stalk of rice. Actually, the scorpion's leg within this stalk of rice and by fermentation the eggs become scorpion and come up. Not that the rice is producing stuff. Mm. The scientists know about that, and they they say yes, that is that is very laughable, primitive. And they but their new theory is simply that 
Life comes from chemicals, so it's actually the same thing. Yeah, because rice is also chemical. But the fact is that they cannot even manufacture a tiny seed, which will fructify. Yes, let them manufacture a seed. From that seed, a big tree will come. They cannot do that. Right. Some devotees are saying that cockroaches come from the vapors of uh, impure things. Yes, they come. That is called uh, Sridhaja. It's like from perspiration, bugs are coming out. Sridhaja. So isn't that life coming from matter? Not matter. So matter is not coming, but they are taking birth. That's yeah. the atmosphere that they get yeah. born into. So are they coming from eggs, or how are they coming? No. Just the soul enters the dirt? Just like... It is a... Uh, I mean, it's a suitable um, circumstance from which the living entity makes his body. <laughs> How is it cockroach just like, by form? Just like embryo. The living entity comes and the two secretions of father and mother emulsify. It creates a situation so that he can stay there and develop body. <laughs> <laughs> But it requires some uh, emanation from a cockroach body in order to create another cockroach body. Mm -hmm. So how can a cockroach body be created from vapors without contact of another cockroach? No, no, vapor mm -hmm. does not create. The individual soul comes there according to his karma. Mm -hmm. And in that condition, he develops his body. Karma na daiva netri na jantu deha upapatri So the seed of the soul, the soul is within the vapor. Hmm? The seed, when it is put into the earth, a situation is created the so that so the soul can develop into a tree. But how would the soul <laughs> develop a particular body? That is Jamaraji. You are reading the Jamaraji incident. That's all. Just like how can a living entity take birth in the fire? Mm -hmm. The argument is that how can an entity take birth in perspiration? His question, so how can a living entity take birth in the fire? Mostly our experience is that entities are taking birth from the earth. But according to the so how the understanding... Ent how the fetus are born in the water. <laughs> See? Uh -huh. How the other living entities, they remain in air, <laughs> without air. There are five elements, earth, water, air, fire. Anywhere the living entities can take birth. Sarvaga. Sanu Sarvaga, Sarayam. You read all these words of Bhagavad Gita. Sarvaga. From oh. anywhere, oh, he can take birth. Do the living entities who are born from perspiration require a mother and father? Hmm? No. no. That is mother. That perspiration is mother. Hmm. So the reason why they get a particular the father body... is God. Hmm. So they're just getting a particular body just due to Yamaraj? Hmm? Yeah, according to the uh, decision of the Jamara, he has to get a particular type of body. So scientists don't know this. <laughs> it's very confusing for them. Confusing might be. <laughs> How you can understand the subtle laws of God? You are dull brain. Thank you.
Without father, there is no question of birth. Without mother, there is no question of birth. Our point is that without father, there is no creation. <coughs> Prabhupada, when a living entity is in an animal body, then when he quits his body, There's no karma. He's just automatically promoted to a higher body. Yes. So then... Animal life means there is no sin. It is promotion. Because they are animals. They are conscious nature is not developed. Just like a child. A child, if he steals, that's not sin. He will not be criminally charged. It's child. The dog goes to the, from the left to the right, or right to it. He's not criminal. But if you do, you get criminal. So Yamaraj does not direct the movements of the living entities as they're going automatically from animal body to higher body. The animal is no jurisdiction of the all. The man is in the jurisdiction. They say law is meant for man, not for the cats and dog. So what determines the different varieties of dogs and cats if they're just automatically being... Not automatically. You are mad <laughs> if you develop a dog's mentality, the Jamaraj puts you into the dog's body. And then you again develop, come to the man's body. That means your term of imprisonment finished, you become again mad. Now again decide. And again if you become a dog's mentality, again go. This is the different varieties of suffering within the animal species are due to the different varieties of sinful activities in the human language? Yes. Yeah. And they, then they automatically come. That's the turn of imprisonment. By days gone, it is finished. Again you are free. Yeah. Similarly, by natural development from dogs or cockroaches or from this or that, there is a process of development. You come to the human form of body. Then again you decide whether you go down <coughs> or you go back to the body. That is your choice. If you want to go down, go again. Otherwise, Taktade Hang Punat Janmanai, Maam is come here. You make your choice. So the living entity who is in the lower body, like insect or plant, yeah, he has... will come automatically to the human form by proposal. And he passes through all the species. Oh, yes. So he has no desire to fly, but still he passes through a bird species. No, just like child is taken care of. Child does not know what he is doing, but the father and mother take him care. He's taken through stages. The mother nature takes care to bring him again to the grown-up, youthful life. Now we make a decision. So, if you don't make your decision, the knowledge is there, the books are there. If you don't take, make your decision, you still you want to remain as cats and dogs again. Do most humans go down into the uh, again? What is that? Do most... The most animals, I mean, most humans go down into the animal species again after the Do most human beings fall down into the animal species? Not necessarily. He can become a stool yeah. or... Srila <laughs> 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 yeah. Prabhupada, what is the value for the living entity to automatically pass through all these different species? Does he get any so, knowledge? To finish his uh, life of imprisonment. 
how is it benefiting? Character. Benefiting is character. After undergoing so many species of life, he's corrected. And again he's brought to the human form of life, civilized form of life. Let him make his choice. If he again makes his choice to go down to become a stool or both, that is nature. Pratitak Tiramanani, Guna Karmani, Guna, according to quality, he has seen. Pratitak Tiramanani, Guna Karmani. Ahankara Vimura. There's a rascal uh, being proud. Now I have got uh, this life, uh, civilized life. I can do whatever he likes. Uh, there is no God. Then God comes as death and puts you again to become a worm too. Through the Prabhupada in the seventh canto, you mentioned that there are certain species of human life for whom certain sinful activities, they don't receive any reaction. Yes, uncivilized. Yes. They're like animals. So they can perform, like, let's say, for example, intoxication or yes. eating, and they won't receive oh, yes. any sinful reaction? No. Because they're uncivilized. And you claim to be civilized, and you're killing animals. Must be this one. Papa, those who come up from the animal species, do they automatically get a chance to contact Krishna consciousness, or they might be born in a low family? Or? No, they gain karma. That's like we are opening center, so we are giving chance to everyone. If he takes opportunity, he can become the animal. Kirata huna nathulin nathukkasa virus. That is the duty of devotees to raise everyone to the sense of Krishna consciousness. But if one is unfortunate, he does not take the advantage. It's a question of fortune then, yeah. and the human form to get that. <laughs> Obstinate. <laughs> you take the worm from the stool, aside, it will go again. You see? <laughs> you see? Again it will. Go. <laughs> but there's still, within all the different species, there are still different varieties. Uh, what accounts for all these varieties? Varieties of the body, according to the mentality. According to karma? Yes. Yeah. According to karma, at the time of death, the mind is saturated in that way and it gets a word. Hmm. That's all. And then after, say, if a human being falls down into the animal species, after that, does he go through each and every one of these species successively? Even there are different types of dogs, he becomes each different oh, yeah. type of dog? Oh, yeah. That is Darwin's gradual evolution. Except this is evolution of consciousness, growing bigger. That is, Darwin has captured that portion. Hmm. How the body is changing one after another. Shri Prabhupada, Bhagavad Gita, it says, Shuchi Nang Shrimatang Gehe Yoga Brashta Vijayate. Hmm. So, for somebody who is now a disciple of the Krishna Consciousness Movement, are we to understand if he is not born in a family of devotees and if he is not born in an aristocratic family, that he was not a yogi in his past life? Uh, are we to understand? Past life, they had some good deeds, therefore they have come to Krishna Consciousness Movement. Uh, it is called Agyata Sukriti. Besides that, whatever he may be in the past life, the moment is there. It is open for everyone. So everyone can come and take advantage. Despite whatever he did in his past life, it doesn't matter. If he comes and if he is fortunate, if he chants, then he will advance. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's yeah. special message. Srila <clears throat> Prabhupada? You were explaining to the reporter yesterday mm. that the difference between the animal and the human is that the animal cannot think of God. He has no religion. So when the living entity is passing through these different species, he doesn't have sufficient knowledge. Of no knowledge. So then how is that he benefited? Is you that said... You explained that as he is being promoted, he is being corrected. Correct, yeah. But if he cannot understand God... No, there is no need of correction. That depends 
stage is her body. That's like you are going ah, one step, another step, another step, another step. There is no need of going. What is this? But you are going up. Step by step, step by step. Ah. In the Bhagavad Gita you explain that one takes a specific birth there, uh, due to a specific degree of lust. Yeah, mental situation. Prabhupada, you once said that if someone is not attracted to chanting Hare Krishna, mm. that he's being punished by Yamaraj. Yeah. Apono karoma bhunyaya samana. Gohe lochana da. Sometimes when we're preaching to people that we don't eat meat, fish, or eggs, they say, why not eggs? They're not uh, actually living. It's just, uh, it's not... It hasn't been fertilized by the that, that, that's, that's, that, you explain it. Explain it. So as you cannot make a, a egg by chemical composition and give it for fermentation and a chicken may come, why do they not do that? Why is that taking eggs from the hens? Why do they not chemically manufacture egg? Huh? Must have life. <laughs> that is Raskarya. If that is a fact, the egg has no life, then you prepare egg, what is there? Some white chemicals? A little yellow, you can do it. <laughs> it is like abortion. <clears throat> they have a process to take the egg from the hen and they make and they make sure that the egg will not grow into a chicken. It is like an abortion. That's all I the, the life is there. You make some arrangement that it will not take part. Yes. That is another thing. <laughs> if it is a fact that the egg, egg is not life, then why you rascal do not manufacture a chemical egg and get a chicken? Why are you rascal talking now? That is our challenge. <laughs> we say rascals not without consideration, because actually they talk like now. Rascals. Which they cannot do and still they insist. That is rascal. Is it all right? <laughs> South, South America, uh, South Africa, yes. there are so many factories um, beginning chicken. Rainbow Chicken Factory. Huh? The Rainbow Chicken Factory. Yes, the chicken factory. But they're taking the eggs from chicken. Why not? Manufacture small eggs and give to the fermentation. There is no question of killing animals. Why is that taking? They say God has provided it for us for food. Yes, that's all right. Then you become a dog. God has provided you a dog's body. Take advantage of it and bark. <laughs>